In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, in today's sitting, I would like to reflect on an important question, which is, what's the purpose of life? We wake up in the morning, we have breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner, then we go to sleep. Is this the true essence of living? Is this the true essence of being on planet Earth? How many times have you asked your question, yourself this question? Why am I here on Earth? Why? Now, to these questions, we may have various answers. Now, lo let's look at one answer that most people will give whether they uh, say it openly or not is to gather wealth wealth now if you gather wealth in this life or in in the utmost strength that you will have in your life at the age maybe of 40 years old or 35 what will be the purpose after having this wealth what if you reach this level and that's your hope of gaining wealth, you will certainly have that feeling of worthlessness after you have reached this point, which is your goal to gain wealth. Then what will happen? You'll feel depressed. How many times on the news you hear millionaires, families of big high ranked men killing themselves? Why is that? And they have wealth. So you can say, according to their understanding, their purpose of living is to gather wealth. And after they have gathered the wealth, they commit suicide. Is that the true essence of being on planet Earth? Mark you, in certain situations, goals or your purpose of life may differ. Let's look to a child at the age of five. A child at the age of five would prefer having a nice car toy rather than having a million dollar check in his pocket or in his bank account if he has one. Let's look for at a situation of a teenager. A teenager, would he prefer having a million dollar check rather than going out with his friends, having pizza, laughing, chatting with his friends? Which would he prefer? An elderly person. If you look to an elderly person at the age of 90 or 85 years old, and he has a billion dollar check in his pocket, would he hold on to that sincerely more than giving it up to getting a healthier life? Which would he prefer? So based on these situations, we can say that wealth, which is so-called the utmost goal for many people, is not the unique and the true goal that one should have for its purpose of living. When will you become sensible, my brothers and sisters in humanity, when you will open your eyes and look around you, take heed of what's going on, Try to have a purpose of living. So based on the different scenarios I gave to you about people in their stages, we can clearly say that wealth cannot be the main purpose of living. We could say that wealth is according to the situations of people. Now, if we look on ourselves, we look at our body, we look at the system that the Creator has made us in. We eat, we sleep. We grow, we sleep. We get sick, we get healthy. Look at the structure of our bodies. Do you think that you are just created for no purpose or just to eat and sleep? 
Now, this is the beauty of Islam. Islam gives you a purpose of living, a purpose of waking up in the morning, a purpose of being good to others. And it is to worship your Lord in oneness and in truth. Allah has said in the Quran, Verily, I have not created the human beings and the jinns, except that should, they should worship me. Now, that's the purpose of your life, to worship your Lord for creating you the way that he has. To get up in the morning and pray to your Lord, thanking him for what he has made, blessed your body, and what he has done and will do for you in the future. And so forth. So Islam, Islam, what does Islam mean? Islam means to surrender, to surrender freely and willingly to the terms and commandments of the Creator. That is what Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the seal of prophets, came to remind the people. Islam gives the human being a purpose for living. In this life, a Muslim should have the primary goal of worshipping his Lord, Allah Azawajal, in everything he do. And then he, the secondary aims he should have by, you know, accumulating wealth, being good to others and so forth. But he should make his life solely for worshipping his Lord. What do I mean by worshipping his Lord? By doing good to please his Lord, Allah Azawajal. So he prays to Allah Azawajal in the morning, in the day, five times a day. He does good to others to get the pleasure and the blessings of the one above, Allah Azawajal. That's the sincere and the true purpose of living. You're doing what your Lord has commanded you to do. Allah has created everything. Shouldn't you worship him? Allah has blessed you with your clothes with a nice face, with a nice car, with the latest shoe. Shouldn't you worship him in oneness and in truth for giving you all these things? Huh? Think about it. When will we change our way of thinking? When will we move from the life of being gullible or just being senseless? We just eat, sleep, eat, sleep. What's the difference between you and the cattle that's in the field? What's the difference? Personally and frankly, if you don't worship Allah the way that the Prophet has uh, commanded you to, you'll be the similar to that, per that animal. Because why? You're not doing the sincere or you're not implementing the life that the Prophet has ordained for us to live, which is to worship the Creator and to give thanks to Him for everything that He has done. Now think about that for a few minutes. When will we make a change and be realistic about our affairs in this world? Life is short. When will we make it sincerely for the Creator above the Almighty Allah? When will we? There is no doubt that the person that submits himself to Allah mentally, spiritually, and every way that you may think of, there's no doubt that he will live a fruitful life of tranquility. And, and if he lives this life of tranquility, there's no doubt when he dies and he leaves this, this life of 80 years, which is very short, there's no doubt that he will meet his Lord in the best of all status in the hereafter. That's the true purpose of living on this earth, to be grateful to your Lord, to be thankful for what he has done to you, to be obedient to him, to implement his commandments. Do not steal, do not backbite, do not speak evil of every, anyone. Do not commit shirk which is the highest. Do not ascribe any partners to your Lord. That's the real purpose of being on this earth, to worship your Lord in truth and in sincerity until 
you meet him. Thank you for watching. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Please tune in for our next sitting of aspects of the Islamic religion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mm-hmm.